Today we're going to continue thinking about local history. Let's use some of these pictures to warm up our brains and see if we can think about our focus for today. Who do you think this person could be? When might this image have been created? What do you think their occupation could be? What gives you these ideas? What in the picture helps you? This doesn't look like a modern job. Look at the tools he's using. Look at the clothes he's wearing. What about this picture? Who do you think these people are? When might this image have been created? What do you think their job might be? Which clues can you spot in the picture? How do you know their job is different to the person in the first picture? What might they be collecting in the bucket? What might their tool be used for? What kind of clothes are they wearing? What about this picture? How are these people different? What do their clothes tell you? What do their actions tell you? All of these people have had very different jobs so far. Let's look at another clue. This one is going to give us a little bit of an idea about our focus for today. Who could this person be? What do you think this man is doing? When might this image have been created? What could his job be? Where do you think he might be? How does this person compare to this person? Who do you think this person could be? When do you think this image was created? What might this man's occupation be? Is it the same as any of the other ones we've looked at today? You're right. Both this man and the last man have the same occupation. They're just from different times. They're both miners. Today, we are going to be thinking about mines. Specifically, mines in our local area. If you look closely at these maps, you will be able to see all of the mines identified from the last 100 to 150 years within the North East. You can see that there have been a lot of mines within our area. You might have heard the North East being referred to as a mining heritage. But what does this mean? Have a look at these pictures to help you. Why do you think we call the Durham Miners Gala the Durham Miners Gala? Why hold such a big event linked to the miners? Look at these pictures. What do they tell you about miners and how they're remembered and respected? Why might the mines have been so important? What do they tell you about a sense of community? Look at the word on the plaque. Disaster. What does this tell you about the safety within the mines? How might miners feel about each other? Why might the mines have been so important? Do you think this was a safe job? Miners must have needed to trust each other. Mining was one of the biggest forms of employment in our region for a large proportion of the 19th and 20th century. Coal mining peaked in Britain in 1913, where 287 million tonnes of coal was retrieved. Coal, oil, natural gases and slate are just some of the materials that were mined in the UK. In 2013, there were still around 2,000 active mines in the UK, although this number has fallen over the last decade. Do you realise there were mines in your local area? You can use the Durham Mining Museum website to take a look at the mines around the northeast. Just try and follow this link. The website will show you the northeast divided into different sections. Click on one to take a closer look. I've just clicked on one area to show you an example. You will then be shown a more detailed map of a colliery area. 
From this, you will be able to click on specific mines and research them further. Here's an example of some of the information you can find. This example is about Hedden Colliery. We can find out things like when the mine was open, when it closed. We can find out how many disasters occurred in this mine. We can find out names of those killed in the colliery. We can find out information about the pits. We can even see a picture and a little description too. Have fun researching the mines near you.